I'm in downtown Greenville at an intersection where an inebriated driver came around this stop sign across the road, caromed off this telephone pole, turned the car up on two wheels, and it smashed through this house on the opposite side of the street. And here we are with homeowner Lee Haley to tell us about that experience. Hi, Lee. Thanks for being willing to do this video today. My pleasure. And can you tell us a little bit about what happened that night? Well, um, I just, my boyfriend and I just finished playing some Wii, where I won, and um, he'd gone to bed. It was about 12.30, 1 o'clock on February 19, 2010, and I heard tires screeching. And by the time I got from the couch to the front window to look out and see what was going on, I heard an impact. I felt the house shake. It sounded like a train, so I knew it had hit the house. We both came running out, came out, looked off my porch, and there was a car sticking out of the basement of my house. Um, we came around, both passenger and driver okay. The driver actually fled the scene. Um, she had, was found later and had all the charges um, that she needed to have because she obviously was driving reckless. Um, and so, you know, we had the fire truck here and everybody, they towed everything out, and I was afraid it was going to take out this corner because it was, you know, about this far from the end of the house where the main support beam is, but they towed it out. Um, that was on a Friday. I was dealing with their insurance company, which I got nowhere, so I called my insurance company, my homeowners, and they were able to, you know, give me guidance on what to do because I had no clue what to do when a car goes to your house. So I, um, my brother actually had used Paul Davis before for some restoration in his home. So, you know, I don't really go by the phone book and pick out a name. I, I go by word of mouth. And so I, I called them on Monday, and by Tuesday afternoon, I had an insurance rep out, or a Paul Davis rep out here, um, Chris Bortz, who kind of gave me every process that we needed to go through, recommended contractors. He got everybody, you know, that I needed to have my house rebuilt. We had the brick people out here that refixed, you know, fixed all the brick. I was very concerned about making sure it had the same style. I didn't want new brick. I wanted to have the older look like I purchased the house. So we found someone that was suitable that could take the brick down, clean the brick up, put it back up like it never happened. And, um, you know, we had someone come out and stain it afterwards to match up the mortar and everything because the mortar changes over the years. And um, I mean, even got some air duct work done because it damaged a little bit of that. We had a structural engineer come out and check everything out. The house was structurally sound. Um, I didn't have to worry about anything. Paul Davis took care of everything for me. Um, every appointment that Chris was here that had to make, he was here on time. If he was running two minutes behind, he would call and let me know. So I'm the biggest skeptical there is of, of making sure things are done correctly, and I didn't have to worry about it. They are satisfied customer. I've recommended them many times before because it's just, I, I'm, I'm amazed that my house looks like it did before all this happened. So. Wow. Call Paul. <laughs> I, I can't think of a, a better personal endorsement than what you just said. Uh, the word of mouth is really the best way to know about a company, and that's why we like to do these videos because it helps people know what a personal experience was. We can tell you what our company does and what we aim to do, right. but, but when it actually happens to you, it, it's nice to know that our customers are as satisfied as we hope they're going to be. Well, I'm very satisfied. If someone were to ask you uh, on a scale of 0 to 10, with 0 being unlikely and 10 being very likely, how likely would you be to refer Paul Davis to another family member or friend or neighbor? Can you say 20? Because that's what I feel like. It's, yeah, I would say 10 plus. <laughs>